Hello, friends, and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it's Saturday, so it's another restaurant vlog. Today, we're going to La Fiesta Restaurant because you know how much I love Mexican food. This has been this place has been on my radar for some time now, and it's just been one of those things that I haven't gotten to yet. But today, we're going there. Um, this place has been one of the one of the favorite uh, uh, Tex-Mex places in Waco for a long time and I'm looking forward to this. The food looks really good. So let's go to La Fiesta. So we are here at La Fiesta and once again you always know you found someplace good when the parking lot is packed. They say that the peak time for this place is Friday and Saturday nights and this is Saturday afternoon at about noon and yeah pretty busy here so this this should be good. Got to also say I'm enjoying that the fact that it's a lot cooler here now. It's about 61 degrees. I like that. La Fiesta, Waco's original Tex-Mex since 1963. Winner, Best Mexican Restaurant, uh, Reader's Choice Awards. And yep, they love them bears. This is a pretty big place too, so should be a lot of seats in here. All right, right off the bat, this is a very fun-looking place. Very well decorated. Uh, if the food's half as good as the decor, this is going to be a great place. Love that bar. Check that bar out. So first observations, besides the fact I've already gotten my chips and salsa, is they have one absolutely massive menu here. So I'm going to have to do some studying here to figure out even what I want. But I have ordered my traditional strawberry margarita. You know me. So I saw this on the menu when I was looking at it at home, and I think this is still what I'm going to go with. Usually uh, when I'm trying a restaurant for the first time, I like to try what they're famous for. And if they have famous mesquite-fired fajitas, that's definitely what I'm going to go with. And my margarita has arrived. Mmm, tasty. So the waiter told me I made a good choice with my uh, with my decision for the meal. I don't know, maybe they're always told to tell you that, but yeah, maybe not. Now usually when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I expect to hear like uh, mariachi music being piped in over the speakers. So it's a little odd uh, being in here and hearing them playing Deep Purple. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna fill up on chips before the food comes. I'm not gonna fill up on chips before the food comes. I'm not gonna fill up on chips before the food comes. Well, maybe just one more. Ah, uh, nuts. Yep, it has arrived, and you can always tell that you've got good fajitas when they're still sizzling on the plate. So, first impression's really good. The fajitas are fantastic, so... Let's keep going. So I was just thinking a lot of my viewers may not really understand Mexican fare that much, so I wanted to kind of explain what fajitas are. Basically, fajitas are, are basically soft tacos where you get all the fixings separately and then you kind of assemble your own. So in this case, I ordered steak fajitas, so I get the steak, the onions, nice little chili pepper there, which is good. A pica de gallo sauce, which is that stuff right here, some sour cream and some guacamole, and then you get tortilla chips and you basically just uh, assemble your own uh, soft taco. Put it all on the tortilla shell and you eat it. Very good. Now those of you who aren't aware, pica de gallo sauce is usually, uh, is usually tomatoes and onions and jalapenos and cilantro sometimes some lemon juice and it's basically just to give it a little flavor now you know things that are spicy really attract me so i tend to to uh use those uh, use that stuff up first so i'm actually going after the uh hot sauce that came with the chips to augment them but this is kind of what it looks like when you get one all kind of built together there's onions and there's the guac and the sour cream and the steak and the pica de gallo sauce and i put a healthy dosage of uh uh, the salsa on there just to give it a little bit extra bite and then you just fold it up like this and eat it like a taco so since the ingredients of fajitas are relatively simple the quality of the product all depends on how good the individual components are and what i really love about this is that the uh the meat is really tender and nice and medium rare 
it's big thick chunks of meat you know a lot of times they they give you just real thin chunks of it and then of course when it sits on the in the heater for a long time it ends up getting dry and chewy and ends up turning turning more into like a dog chew toy than actual meat but this these fajitas are just fantastic the meat is really juicy uh, and all the all the individual components are really high quality so you know each of the individual flavors just really comes through really enjoying this I'm only about halfway through with this and I gotta already say this is probably the best Mexican meal I've had since I've been here in Texas um, I've had you know not not digging on anything else I've had but this just stands head and shoulders above everything else so one of the things that came with the uh, fajitas was this uh, big nice chili pepper now a lot of times when they saute a chili pepper it kind of eliminates all the flavor if they overcook them I really have been enjoying this one because it's got a really great chili pepper flavor but it has a nice burn afterwards in fact if you're not really into hot spicy things you're not going to want to touch these things because yeah they're really hot but i'm really enjoying this mm, red hot chili peppers see they start out really mellow at the beginning it just tastes like a cooked uh, bell pepper initially but after about 30 seconds the burn really starts coming on and I'm like almost breathing fire right now really good stuff all right it's official this is now officially the best Mexican food I've had since I've been in Texas and it might even be a, a front runner for uh, the best food period that I've had in Texas this has been so fantastic all right I was a good boy and I cleaned my plates again it is now official this is the best meal I've had in Texas not best Mexican not best Mexican food, best meal, period. If you come to Texas, you got you to come to Waco and try this place out. I'm actually going to have to uh, do another restaurant review here just to make sure this wasn't a fluke. This was so good. I agree with the people who said best restaurant in Waco. Definitely come here if you get a chance. The food was so good I even finished my water. So I see them advertising that they have a world famous purple margarita. I think next time I come by, I'll have to try that, see what that's all about. So yeah, I really love the decor of this place too. It's a very fun place to, to uh, eat just from a visual standpoint. Yeah, I love tacos too, I, I get it. A lot of great seating in this place. So yeah, definitely, definitely check this place out. Really good. And as if I needed any icing on the cake about why this was such a great place and why Texas is a place to live, the people in the seat behind me, uh, at the in the booth behind me, uh, came up to me on my way out and were talking to me and explaining to me how, how this is such a great place and how they uh, really like Texas and how they had met each other at this restaurant and he proposed to her at this restaurant and they were just so nice people. You know, I remember I mentioned a while back that people in Texas are just so much nicer. That kind of thing never would have happened to me in uh, California. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. However, I got to admit, it might not be possible because I really enjoyed that a lot. Anyway, that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.